we present a deep learning based model for approximating facial deformations of film quality characters. Our method computes highly accurate mesh deformations when compared with the original character rig. In addition, our approximation can be evaluated in real time on consumer quality hardware. Our facial deformation approximation model is fast and outputs accurate mesh deformations given input rig parameters. We start with a set of rig parameters representing the desired facial expression. A convolutional neural network uses this as input to generate an image. This image encodes the vertex offsets of the deformed mesh in UV space. To retrieve the vertex offsets, we sample the generated image at the UV coordinates of each vertex. Our representation learns the delta between the neutral and deformed meshes. We add the offset to get our final result. We utilize a small number of convolutional models, each operating on one local region of the mesh. In some cases, high frequency deformations such as wrinkles can occur on vertices in the UV map that are less than a pixel apart in our output image. To account for this, we use extra refinement models applied to areas of the mesh which experience high reconstruction error. These refinement models output an additional delta which is added to the output of the course models. We demonstrate the effectiveness of our approach in comparison with other methods on three film quality facial rigs. Our method evaluates the mesh deformation faster than the original rig function while maintaining greater approximation accuracy than other methods. Our model runs up to 17 times faster than the original multi-threaded rig evaluation engine. On all high-end rigs we tested, a speedup of over a factor of 10 is common. While our convolutional method is slightly slower than the dense model, we achieve similar or greater levels of accuracy using fewer model parameters. Our refinement model can handle the wrinkles observed on this facial rig. In contrast, these high-frequency deformations are lost on the linear blend skinning approximation model. As seen on this rig, our approach produces deformations which are equal to or more accurate than those produced by a dense neural network model. For some inputs, these approaches have similar accuracy. Our approximation model allows for the efficient computation of the rig function's gradient for inverse kinematics. We propose a fast learning based technique which can compute the desired rig parameters in real time. We use a feed-forward neural network with a set of user-defined IK control points to predict the optimal rig parameters in order to match the pose to the control points. To ensure that our model does not learn incorrect correspondences between unrelated facial features, such as the eyes and the mouth, we split the model into multiple networks based on groups of control points. Each network learns to predict only the rig parameters which affect its assigned control points. Once all the predictions are made, some models may overlap in their predicted rig parameters. For these cases, we average their results. Here we show examples of the user interacting with the IK solver. We compare the meshes generated by a dense feedforward network and by our approximation model. In both cases, the IK solver provides the approximation models with the same input rig parameters. As seen in this comparison, our model produces more accurate mesh deformations while the dense model produces undesirable visual artifacts for certain input poses. As with the previous example, we see that the dense model produces visually jarring artifacts for certain input poses. The IK solver can produce rig parameters that are far away from the distribution of the training data. Our approximation model consistently produces more accurate deformations, which suggests that it generalizes better to novel inputs. For this character, the visual inaccuracies of the dense model are not as prominent. However, we do see that the dense model does not localize deformations as well as our method. When the character's nose is moved, the dense model deforms regions around the eyebrows and other parts of the face. This effect is not as noticeable on our model. Finally, we demonstrate our approximation model running in a real-time facial performance capture system. We track facial landmarks in captured frames of the actor. The displacements of the landmarks between the frames are used to update the control points for the inverse kinematic solver. The IK model uses the control points to compute rig parameters and feeds the parameters to the approximation model. The approximation model then produces the deformed mesh corresponding to the actor's expression. This example is running in real time on a razor blade 
gaming laptop.